Metal Tiger Metal Storage Cabinet Assembly Guide. This product requires two people for the assembly process. To start, take the back panel pieces and overlap them. Take four R screws. Align the holes and fasten them in place using a screwdriver. Overlap the back panel's exterior frame over the side panel's frame. Take six R screws. Fasten in place with a screwdriver using three R screws for each side. Take the top and bottom frame parts and slide them all the way in the vertical bars. Make sure the thin margin is pointing inwards. Take 8 R screws. Fasten in place with a screwdriver using 2 R screws for each corner. Insert the frame through the cabinet's walls slightly inclined. The side with square holes must point inwards of the cabinet. Fix it in place pulling the frame towards you. Take the 4 T corners and the legs. Using 16 R screws, fasten each corner to the bottom of the cabinet. Screw the legs in the middle of each corner. Take the cabinet's cover and make sure the three big square holes point to the front of the cabinet. Insert it through the cabinet slightly inclined. Push it until well fixed. Take 8 R screws. Fasten in place with a screwdriver using 4 R screws in the back and 4 R screws in the front. Using the screwdriver push the legs of the square hole all the way in. Repeat for the sides. Take the bottom of the cabinet and make sure the cut frame faces the front of the cabinet. Insert it through the cabinet slightly inclined. Push it all the way in until well fixed in the back and side clamps. Take the pegboard. Place it at the top of the back panel. Take 4 S screws. Fasten in place with a screwdriver using 2 S screws for each side. Choose where you want your four shelves to be and use 16 holders, four for each shelf. Insert each holder slightly inclined in the frame's holes. Repeat 16 times. Start by placing the first shelf on top of the holders. Insert it in the cabinet slightly inclined. Make sure that the inner frame of the shelf is well fixed to each of the four holders. This is very important for the shelf to support the maximum weight. Take one bolt and insert a plastic ring on it. Insert the bolt in the bottom frame of the cabinet. Place the door with the bottom hole in the bolt. Press the arch at the top of the door to fix the door in the upper frame. Repeat for the other side. Place each pocket on two metal rods and insert one nut to every end of the rods. Repeat for the empty rods too. Put the ends of the rods through the side holes of the doors. Screw the nuts as close to the door frame as possible. Place the hangers on the empty rods. Take the rubber screws and insert them in the top and bottom holes of the doors. For extra stability, you can fix the metal cabinet to the wall. Using the L shapes, fix them to the top cover of the cabinet using one X screw and one nut for each. With a pen, mark the holes on the wall where you are going to drill. Push aside the cabinet and drill the holes in the marked places. Insert one wall plug in each hole using a hammer. Push back the cabinet and fix it to the wall using one wall screw for each. There you have it, your fully customizable metal storage cabinet.